Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm very excited to eat tons of food and watch football and Christmas movies and all that jazz. Um, and Marley is down here. I'm actually filming in front of my Christmas tree. So if you're wondering what the dog is wandering in and out of the shot, that would be Marley, who is right here. <laughs> so if you're wondering, that's Marley. She just wants some little attention. Um, yeah, so today I wanted to film my top five highlighters, um, and these are all face highlighters with one honorable mention to concealer. So, yeah, um, I'm really, a few YouTubers have um, filmed this, and I just really thought it was such a great idea. So a couple of products are going to be the same um, as a couple other YouTubers, but a couple of products are going to be different. So... Um, let's jump right into my most recent purchase for highlighter. Marley, no, you can't be in this. <laughs> um, and my first one is from Illamasqua, and it is the um, Gleam. There we go. And it just looks like this. And it's kind of a rose gold highlighter. It's very, um, it gives such a nice, subtle sheen. There it is on my hand. You can see that. Um, it's so beautiful. You just rub it in. We'll just rub it into my hand. And I don't know if you can, well, of course you can't see it because my camera sucks, but um, this is my most recent highlighter purchase. Um, I picked it up from Sephora. I don't know if you can get it online. I've looked online for a long time and could never find it. And then I actually went into a Sephora when I was in California and I found it and I snatched it up right away because I've actually heard some really good stuff about this. With this highlighter, I like to apply it with my fingertips. Sometimes I feel like your fingertips are the best tools. So I'll just um, rub my ring finger in it and then I'll just dab it along my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow, wherever um, I feel like I would need it. So yes, um, this is a really great highlighter. I love it. And it is... Um, in the $25 range, I think, I believe. So it's a little more on the pricey side, but it's definitely a great product. Um, the next one I want to talk about should be no surprise to any of you if you follow any beauty guru on YouTube. Um, it is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And we'll do a close up. This is just an absolutely gorgeous highlight. Um, it is very shimmery. If you can see it on my finger right there, it's very shimmery. It has, um, I would say, a com it's definitely more glittery than the Illamasqua highlighter. Um, it gives a nice peachy, rosy glow to your cheeks, which I like. I don't like um, really icy white highlighters. I like the more um, peachy colors because I'm, I'm olive skin complected, so um, I like the more rosy PG um, highlighters. And the next one I have is from Benefit, and this is the Sunbeam highlighter, and it just comes in a little glass bottle with, it looks like um, <laughs> a nail polish brush, just looks like this. And this, what I like to do is put it on the back of my hand like so, and then again, I would like to take my fingers and just pat it on. Um, I find that's kind of the best way to apply this. Um, if you don't want to use your fingers, you can always use the stippling brush. That is um, a brush that I highly recommend you use um, with some of these highlighters. So if you're going to apply a cream highlighter, I think the best way is with a stippling brush um, for the Il Masca and for the Sunbeam. Um, and for the, a couple other products that I have, I definitely think any cream highlighter, it goes on really easily with a stippling brush. This is just from Real Techniques. Um, and then the powder highlighters, I like to apply with my Real Techniques. Uh, this is a contour brush. It's really tiny, and it's pointed, and you, I just swirl it around, and then I just, like, will glide it on top of my cheekbones. And I find this is the best way to apply the mineralized skin finish. The next highlighter I have is from MAC also, and this are, this are, <laughs> these are the Luster Drops, and let's see, I have them in, what color do I, in Sunrush, so again, mine's more peachy toned, and it comes with a little squeezy tube, 
like this, which I think is really kind of cool. It looks like um those paints that you'd get when you were little to like put on t-shirts and stuff like that. If any of you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is definitely a gold highlighter. Um, a lot of times I know people like to mix this in their foundation and then apply their foundation and it gives you a really nice glow. Um, but because it breaks me out so bad if I would do that, I just like to apply this as well with my fingertips. This is definitely more um, of a gold tone than a peach tone. So if you are fair skinned, I do not recommend this highlighter. Um, they do another one and I'm not sure the name, but it's more on the pink side. So that is more for the fair toned um, skin complexions. And this one, Sunrush, is definitely for more of the medium to darker um, skin tones. And then the last one that I have is also from Benefit, and this is Girl Meets Pearl. And it comes in a tube like this. You just take the top off, and then it has a little protector. You just take that off, and it has these little holes in it. And this is a more of a champagne highlight, and so it's on my hand right here. See how it's a little more pink? And then you rub it in, but what I actually really love about this highlighter and I wasn't sure, when I first got this highlighter, I didn't like it at all because what I, I really wanted to get the Benefit Watts Up um, highlighter, but the Ulta that I have discontinued selling it. So this was my next option, and I really wanted to give it a go, so I picked it up anyways. And at first I really didn't like it because it was more on the champagne pinky side, but really, when you work it into the into the skin it actually gives a really nice peachy glow um so if you are let me get this off my hands this is kind of gross and I don't know what to put it on um I actually think this is great for any skin type um yeah I was really surprised when I got it actually and that it wasn't on the champ it looks champagne-y when you put it on, but then it turns into this really nice peachy glow, and it's just, I just think it complements any skin tone. I think it's a beautiful highlighter. Then my honorable, honorable mention is from, oh my gosh, Maybelline, and all of the writing has rubbed off because I'm in love with this. This is the Maybelline Dream, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. And this is in the shade Radiant, which is a salmon color, and it comes with an applicator tip like this. It's a brush tip, so you just would brush on the product like so. And it's a salmon-y pink color, so it corrects um, the blue and purpleness under your eyes if you have dark under eye circles. And you have to really kind of work this in, but this is another product. When I first purchased it, I, I didn't like it at all when I first had it. And... Um, I actually ran out of my other under eye concealer, and so I didn't, it was the morning, so I didn't want to go out and grab, you know, another one. So, I had this in my little makeup drawer, and I pulled out and I started using it, and I'm in love with this concealer. This is definitely the best under eye concealer I have ever used. It definitely lightens the under eye area, it brightens it, it makes it more radiant, it makes you look awake. Um, I just think this is an incredible product, and um, a little fact that I didn't know that I just found out is that Maybelline actually owns YSL, the YSL beauty brand. So if you are familiar with um, the YSL Touche Clat under eye concealer, this is a great dupe for that because since Maybelline owns it, they kind of... Um, some of their products, they cross over into each other, so you can definitely tell um, one product and another product. This is actually a really good dupe for the YSL Touche Clat. So if you can't afford the YSL um, concealer, I definitely suggest that you try the Maybelline Dream... Maybelline? <laughs> Say that ten times fast. The Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. And it just looks like this again with a little brush applicator. Um, I just think this is great. I highly recommend it. And all I do is I use my fingers to blend it in. And it just really is incredible and I love it. So those are my top five highlighters. So I have the Illamasqua Gleam, YS, um, YSL, <laughs> the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish 
in Soft and Gentle, the Benefit Sunbeam, and the Benefit Girl Meets Pearl, and then I have the MAC Luster Drops. So yeah, I would love to know what your top five um, highlighters are, and I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'm excited. I'm actually cooking the whole meal this year, so I'm really excited about that, and I hope um, to get some footage up here um, over the weekend from Thanksgiving. So yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful and safe holiday, and many blessings to you and your families. Bye, guys.